The aerospace company Bureau 1440, part of Nine Holding, has begun developing Wi-Fi terminals for Sukhoi Superjet, MC-21, and Tu-214 aircraft. These terminals will enable satellite internet connectivity throughout the entire flight. This was announced by Alexei Shalabkov, CEO of Nine Holding, on April 9, 2025, during the plenary session of the 21st Telecom 2025 Forum for Telecommunications Operators, organized by Vedomosti. He clarified that the company received specifications for the transceiver terminals from the manufacturer of these three aircraft. A representative of the United Aircraft Corporation, part of Rostec, responsible for the development and production of domestic aircraft, confirmed that the corporation is in contact with Bureau 1440. We have sent our equipment requirements for onboard installation so that we can offer interested airlines the functionality of in-flight internet access. The spokesperson emphasized that this is an important step toward improving passenger comfort. As of the latest available information, Aeroflot is currently the only Russian airline offering in-flight internet connectivity. The service, provided in partnership with satellite operator Stecom, has been operational since 2021 on select aircraft, including Airbus A350, A320neo, and A320CEO models. However, this is a paid service and not yet available fleet-wide. Future plans indicate broader implementation by 2028, with Russian authorities and Aeroflot aiming to expand coverage across domestic flights through agreements involving Bureau 1440's upcoming satellite constellation, though this remains in development. No other Russian airlines are confirmed to offer in-flight internet at this time. For context, international carriers like Air France, Qatar Airways, and United Airlines are adopting SpaceX's Starlink for high-speed connectivity, but these services are not yet available on Russian airlines. So what is known about this Russian company? Bureau 1440 has started a significant initiative to offer satellite-based internet services for domestic aircraft and other modes of transportation, such as trains and ships. This initiative is a component of a broader endeavor to improve internet access in remote and mobile environments and improve connectivity across Russia's extensive infrastructure. The company has already signed agreements with major transportation companies, including Aeroflot and Russian Railways, and intends to launch its broadband internet services by 2027. These partnerships underscore the increasing necessity for dependable internet connectivity in the transportation sector of Russia, which covers vast geographic regions and often lacks the capacity of conventional ground-based networks. The data transfer speed will be increased by up to 10 times from 100 megabit per second to 1 gigabits per subscriber terminal, and the data transfer delay will be considerably reduced from 700 milliseconds to 70 milliseconds, thanks to the broadband service for data transfer. Remote control services, fallback scenarios, and video communication will be accessible to transport industry companies nationwide and internationally. To accomplish this, Bureau 1440 is creating a low Earth orbit LEO satellite constellation that is comparable to SpaceX's Starlink. The company's objective is to launch nearly 300 satellites into orbit by 2030 to facilitate high-speed internet access for consumers throughout Russia. This technological effort is anticipated to transform the connectivity experience for passengers traveling on domestic aircraft and other modes of transportation. The company has evolved from a research project to the start of actual work on the development of a global high-speed data transmission system since 2021. The first three devices were launched into low orbits in June 2023. The Rosvet 2 spacecraft was launched on the night of May 16 to 17, 2024, as part of the second experimental mission. Flight experiments are presently underway, and all mission satellites have established contact and are under control. However, the project faces significant logistical challenges. Bureau 1440 must surmount numerous obstacles, including a lack of heavy lift rockets and the restricted availability of rocket launches for the deployment of large satellites. The company is confident in its capacity to achieve its objectives within the designated time frame, despite the presence of these challenges. Bureau 1440 also intends to broaden its services beyond the confines of Russia in the future. 
the company intends to establish a presence in the global market to guarantee the financial sustainability of the initiative as it perceives potential for international demand. Bureau 1440 could establish itself as a prominent participant in the satellite internet industry and revolutionize the connectivity standards for transportation worldwide if this initiative proves successful. Now, let us look at the deal between the company and Aeroflot. In May 2024, during the CIPR 2024 conference, the Russian private space company Bureau 1440, in the presence of the Minister of Digital Development, Communications and Mass Media, Maksut Shadeyev, and Deputy Minister of Transport, Dmitry Bakanov, announced cooperation with Russian railways and Aeroflot in the use of satellite technologies. Aeroflot CEO Sergei Alexandrovsky said at the forum, Colleagues from the Ministry of Digital Development promised it in 2027 to 2028. Of course, we are waiting for this. We have signed the corresponding agreement. And passengers want this. It's a very popular service. I would also like it to be free for passengers, as is now being implemented all over the world, he added. Now, do you think Russia can match Starlink services? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.